Welcome back. This is going to be a game two of this little mini series between Ashley and Viper. If you haven't watched game one, uh, Viper was Protoss and Ashley was Zerg. But uh, I am Iwin Quaffle, and with me is my amazing caster, Doom Joker. Choo! That's me, fellas. This will be a good game. Yes, uh, uh, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched Game 1 right now, stop this cast and go watch it right now. Yep. Right now. I don't care what you're doing. If you're <laughs> eating pizza rolls, my favorite snack, <laughs> pizza good rolls. for you. <laughs> you are not my favorite person. But if you're not, I need you to stop this cast right now and go watch Game 1 between these two. Yep. Absolutely. Um, game 1, Viper played his off race. Ashley played her main, which was Ashley was playing Zerg. Viper was playing Protoss. And now they're doing a little friendly switch to see if Ashley is indeed dominant in the races. Because, yep. spoiler alert, like my friend Quaffle said, Ashley did win that game. With decent authority, too. Yep, yep. Oh, and Ashley realizing it's MLG because she's scouted in the wrong position. Isn't that <laughs> oh, yeah. embarrassing? But it's okay. Ashley realized her mistake. She pointed it out like a real woman. <laughs> like a true woman, on. so we don't make fun of her on the cast. But yeah. it was too late. No, Ashley, you're cool. <laughs> but she yep. she's a very strong Protoss player, too. That's her second best race. And uh, I've seen her do some crazy builds with her with her protest she really likes to go colossi a lot so especially versus zerg which is so effective uh yes the beautiful colossi build that all the zergs hate and all the <laughs> they love. do especially hydra <laughs> especially mr hydra <laughs> you pronounce it hydra i pronounce it idra yes yeah, i believe I mean, I've heard it, I've heard it both ways. I heard like Day Nine call him Idra, and I've heard different people call him Idra. It's I don't know what it is. What does he call himself? He calls himself Idra. Okay. Artosa then. started the Idra uh, train because that's the way he pronounced it. Cause oh. It it seemed easier for him. Okay. So okay. Well, I'll call him Idra because that's what he wants to be called, and he is number one grandmaster at the moment, so he gets to be called whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> And we see a speed opening from Viper. He's going to get his metabolic boost pretty soon here. Hopefully, if oh. you put some workers on that on that extractor, which he oh he actually, actually no, he just them out. Them off. He has a hundred gas. Yep. He just pulled them off. Nice move. Yep. Oh, and Ashley almost loses her probe and denies the expansion a little bit longer here. Nice. Oh, and the probe has one kill. That is a. Beast pro. pro. Any probes that have kills are like generals in the Protoss army. They're beast. Yep, yep. Uh, and it actually looks like Ashley back in her base is chrono boosting out units uh, because her wall isn't fully complete. She was uh, focusing on getting that hatchery or preventing the hatchery from going up. So, Remember, this is her off race, so she's a little bit uh, confused as to. Perfect build order, but she is an amazing uh, strategist. 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 Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So uh, she threw down a gas to throw off Viper, and now she's getting it. She's uh, mining from it now. So nice, nice. And now Ashley has. Oh a yes, set. we got the starport. Just went down for Ashley. I am stoked. Oh, awesome. Uh, you know, I love starport plays. What do you think would be a... Do you think she's going to go Phoenixes or Void Ray? Uh, what we usually see is one Void Ray followed up by Phoenix. Since the Void Ray is slower, uh, it'll go there, start to harass, and the Phoenix will come to support and pick up the Queens. Um, oh, but yeah. I have seen several mass Void Rays, or maybe not vast Void Rays, but, um, you know... Just Void Ray or yeah. just Phoenix. Both are very effective. If you get two to three Void Rays out, you can just demolish Zerg in the early game. Just because if they don't have Evolution Chamber and if they only have like two Queens, they're going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. And they also control the map unless the Zerg decides to go Hydras or Mutalisks. Absolutely. We do see a Void Ray coming out for Ashley. It is being chronoed mm -hmm. at the moment. This is going to be sweet. Mm -hmm. Yes, and... uh. To go a little bit further into the map control with Void Rays, uh, the Zerg needs to get those Hydras, uh, 
corruptors are mutilisks out, as I said, and they have to have enough that actually overwhelm the void rays. And the problem with that is that that means the Zerg has to start droning and maybe go to a tech that the Protoss wants them to go into. So it's, it's a tricky situation for the Zerg. Mm -hmm. And uh, a strong situation for the Protoss, because as soon as uh, the Zerg make a commitment to that tech, the Protoss can respond accordingly. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great point. We do see that Void Ray moving across the map. Hasn't been spotted by the Zerg yet. Oh my gosh, and the Zerg has nothing. Um, he, if he brings those two queens, he might be able to hold this. He's going to be able to hold this Void Ray off if he gets them out and use some nice transfuses if he has the energy. But he's going to be. He's going to have to use. He's going to have to build some spore colonies. Yep, and Viper immediately sees the Void Rays and pulls out both queens. Two queens do be, do beat one Void Ray. Mm -hmm, and they have sick range on those queens. Yeah, definitely. A Void Ray is kind of like a chandelier. It's very fragile. Yep. But it's very beautiful and very powerful. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that is sweet. Clawful. Hey, could... <laughs> you and your you like that one? analysis. I love them. Oh, man. That one took me a while. It, I was <laughs> that, up until no, that about was like right 3 a.m. thinking of that man. one. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I and swear you stay up late at night thinking of these. Okay, go ahead. I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> Got to have some uh, animated cast, you know. Yeah, um, definitely. Back at Ashley's base, we do see her Nexus almost finishing, and we do see a Phoenix follow-up from her Stargates. So uh, she's just going to use these air units to patrol the map and kill off any type of overlords that decide that they want to go sightseeing. Uh, the Protoss don't like that, so they're going to be stopping any type of uh, sightseeing. Absolutely. We also see Hydralis coming out for our friend Viper at the moment, which are awesome against Protoss Air. They have so, such sick DPS that mm -hmm. that they are, they are great. And as we can see, Ashley right now only has Gateway units, and Gateway units versus Hydras is not very good unless you have amazing force fields and perfectly split up their army. Yeah, absolutely. Hydras can just wreck gateway units, but once they get those colossi out, it gets so scary for those for those hydras. But it doesn't look like Ashley's going to do that. She is going Twilight Council right now, possibly getting charge or blink. Yep, and uh, we do see both players have been having really strong macro abilities. I've seen this from Ashley a lot. She almost never misses a pro drone or SCV cycle and she's always macroing no matter the Oh yeah, happens. absolutely. And Viper has done nothing but make drones oh. ever since he saw that Void Ray. Wow. So but we, he has a huge drone lead at the moment. He does have a big drone lead, but Ashley is moving with the force to up to Viper's third. Viper does not have the units to be able to hold this off at the moment. He is going to have to... Uh, this might get sacked. He does have a few spine callers here. He is going to bring up his small force of army. Yep. It depends on how he micros. Mm -hmm. He does have a whole bunch of hydras popping right now, but they're popping in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. He's only got two popping at his third. And great force fields by Ashley, troping, or, uh, trapping a lot of roaches, but there's a little bit of a 